summer of 2019, strange events took place in the mountains of eastern Kentucky. Some say it was a Bigfoot. Some say it was a Wendango. Others said it was a Skinwalker. And the truth is, none of us know what it is. But it went silent for a while. It could have been because of the property work we was doing. We pushed it deeper back into the woods. But whatever it was, it seems like it's come back. And it's called is pulling me back in. So join me as we try to unwrap these strange events. back here where it all started there's a trailer we was living in up here on our property like where i'm standing is where it all happened you go back through them earlier videos it won't be like this it was actually woods and a lot of y'all seen us get this done and then end up buying a house which is literally a thousand yards up the road just on the other side of this hill i really don't want to show it because i don't want to disclose where we live because i don't want people just showing up at the house over this i have been wanting to get back at this for a long time like i thought it was over with i thought there was no sense you know i looked up there above the house didn't see no signs of anything no cross trees no nothing but and this activity only seemed to be in probably about a hundred acre area never really seen much down that way never seen much that way but everything seemed to be centralized right in this valley right here i was going to bring the side by side but i figured i'd better come check it out first because we've had some slippage this winter was rough and it kind of messed the property up so i'm thinking it may have messed the road up and i didn't want to get up here on the side by side because the road's kind of narrow it's just about the right size for it and i didn't want to get up there and there'd be a tree down or something like that and i just couldn't get through and then i was in a bad situation of trying to get off you can see this whole section right here is slipped down when it slipped a lot of the water started coming down through here so it eroded some of the road out i got to come up here soon and trench this out so it all continues to run back down the ditch enough of the property we ain't here for that we're up here to get in the mountains literally the minute i said that it started raining might have to get in the truck here and hold out for a minute probably just a little cloud burst i don't see it doing much I didn't have a camera running. I almost got run over by a little deer. But that means mama's down through there too. Still had the spots and everything. Come flying up the road. I was getting a little B-roll of this rock over here. And here comes this deer just wide open. I can see why they're stirring a lot right now. The berries are starting to ripen. These are wine berries. These are absolutely delicious. They make good jams, jellies, cobblers, wine. Mm. Nature provides good snacks and everything when you're out here. Mm. Hey, buddy. What's up? I ain't gonna bother you. This is your home. Y'all, it is hot. Like hot. It's probably about 12, 12.30 the heat's kicking in and that rain didn't cool it off one bit it only lasted about five minutes it was enough just to make it whew, humid where the air is thick i 
and I stopped. Because I'm kind of, I don't know if it was that deer that run through here, but I'm picking up a foul odor, but I don't see a little spot smelling that bad. Oh, and the gnats are horrible. It could be, it ain't me. I don't know, it might be. This is where I ended up getting chased out of the mountains and back down the hill. And it was the same day that it felt like two different things was up here. Something was above me, but whatever was below me didn't feel right. Like, I wasn't as afraid of what was above me as what I was below me. Now I'm building me a filming rig for this. It'll go on my backpack. That's going to have a body cam. And then I'm going to have a camera pointing at my face. And then there's going to be a camera pointing behind me. So pretty much I'm going to have a 360 degree view of everything that's going on. And oh my goodness, the blar patch I'm about to go through. Ooh, ooh. Something's been going under it. As from before you know there's a big one up here a very very big one yes that's there he's a big one that's a big X and it's time to come up here with a five gallon bucket and load up. I wish y'all could taste these right now. They are so, so very sweet. Mm. We got a ton of those growing right there behind the house. Yes, right here is where I was at. The day I got chased out of here. I heard something coming for me. Looks like a deer had come through here. Yeah, it's definitely a deer. It's cut. They're going up through here right through there. You can see their trail. Where did that even come from? Where did that break off from? This maybe, but that's it. no. It's like it's been stuck in there. That's a hemlock. Man, I don't even see a hemlock through here. Over there, it don't look like nothing's broke out of it. Okay, that's a little peculiar. Oh, and there's an X. I didn't even see that right in front of my face. I still hear the birds singing, so I'm, I feel all right. It's when they get quiet, it's when I get worried. Another X right here. They're everywhere through here. Well, look right here. Another one. And here's another thing I find odd. The weirdest time there's black helicopters flying all over the place up here. It's not just the fall. It's the winter, the spring, the summer. Like There's all the time military helicopters flying around. I thought it might have been, you know, hey, they're, they're looking for weed farmers. But right over this area constantly. So... So I just kind of, with this answering my question here. Get the side by side through here anymore. A 
tree will have to be cut. Very cool, very cool. That's why I like getting out here. So even if I don't find no Bigfoot, I still get to experience God's creation. And it's beautiful. All right, so I'm back here at the crossroads. You hear we're getting a thunderstorm coming. I just went down that way. There's no way to get the side by side unless I come up here with a chainsaw, start doing some clearing, which I'm going to do eventually, but I'm more concerned about all the way up top because that's where like other than me getting chased out that's where we had a lot of strong activity that's where we found that cave that sounds like a good old storm that's not going to be a good one that's going to be what we call here in these mountains a turd floater and I'm the fool outside in it so I'm gonna be the turd that gets floated off. It's been the best part, y'all. I can't quit. You ain't gotta wash them. No pesticides. 100% organic. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about. I'm not going that way. Well, the deer was the highlight. Let's hope it ain't me getting struck by lightning. That's not a highlight reel I want to see. I wish I could have got the baby deer running up on me, but I had just turned the camera off. And it come out of nowhere fast. But hey, that was cool. The signs are here. I've heard him. I know something's going on up here. This is just the beginning. I'm going to try to do one of these every Saturday. Like I think that's going to be my Saturday habit. Let's get back out, hike through the hills. It's going to be good exercise for me. I need to do it. And I got a lot of mountains to walk here. A lot of mountains. Oh yeah, this is a good one rolling in. It's all right. Look at how the leaves flip upside down. Every time it rains, you'll know it before it does because the leaves will all flip upside down. We've heard it. You're not going to catch something every time. They wouldn't call it hunting if you did. Hey, we caught the deer. That was pretty awesome. You got to admit that. But before this hit really gets struck by lightning, I'm going home. We're going to get to the bottom.